Hello and welcome to this short presentation about the Jung Smart Visu Server. My name is Jan Winters and I'm a technical sales manager in the Jung International Sales Department. And today I will give you some information about this nice visualization server, which offers you a very straightforward and easy to use visualization for KNX installations. And these can be KNX installations, which are built 10 years ago, or brand new KNX installations. For both type of those installations, it will offer you a visualization and controlling for the basic functions like lights, blinds, temperature control, but you can go further than that as well. Since you can follow up measured values with charts, for instance, you can create alarm limits and assign an email in case of an alarm, or the user can create its own actions and make them time dependent with or without an Astra function. The user can control his visualization, his installation, not only locally in the network, but also remotely outside the property. And we are not limited to KNX functions only, since an interface for Philips UV and Sonos music installation is integrated in the Smart Visu server. So you can control both systems together with your KNX system with the same visualization and creating an interface from KNX towards these systems as well. Last but not least, the installation can be controlled with voice services thanks to the Smart Visual Server with Amazon Alexa or Google Home. But before we start taking a look into the functionalities, the properties and the applications, we will start with a short introduction video that gives you an overview and already a good impression of the possibilities of the Jung Smart Visual Server. Let's take a look how the visualization with Smart Visual Server will be configured. Of course, first of all, the Smart Visual Server should be connected into the network and powered, of course. Therefore, we have a power connection here at the bottom side and the LAN connection as well. Once it's connected into the network, the LED will signalize with a blue color when it's connected and when it got an, um, an IP address from um, your router, and then you can start with the configuration of it. And to do the configuration of the Smart Visual Server, the easiest and most convenient way is making use of a computer, your laptop, for instance. Um, of course, you can do the configuration as well with other mobile devices like a tablet, or even with your smartphone, but uh, be aware when you have to create a complete visualization that your computer is the most convenient way to do so. Let's take a look how to start configuring the visualization. I will use Google Chrome to configure the Smart Visual Server. And since I don't know the IP address which is given to the Smart Visual Server, I can just type in SV minus server point local. 
In this way, the Smart Fusel server is automatically found in the network and we can start with the configuration of it. First of all, we select the corresponding language that we want to use and we proceed with the chart KNX. Here in my installation, the device will scan for IP interfaces which are available. In many installations, this will be only one that we can select. A green symbol here indicates that the connection towards the IP gate is established. With a press at this symbol, we can import the project that we have exported out of the ETS software in OPC format in order to have all the group addresses of the project available. Since we want to extend our installation as well with UA colored lights, we can proceed with the chart UA and also here the IP gateway of UA is automatically found in the network, giving you all the connected lights. In this case, two candles with um, tunable white functionality here. We have a UA bloom and we have a UA socket here connected with a Jung plug and light. So when we want to find out which device um, we have, we could start with candle one, pressing this symbol, and you see that it lights up briefly. So in an installation, you can easily find uh, one or the other device, for instance, the Bloom, then we can proceed with Sonos and also here, the Sonos speakers in my installation are automatically found and have to be added to my installation. Once those three steps are done, we can proceed with areas and functions. Also here, it's very easy. First of all, we can create areas. I have already prepared some areas. Um, for instance, I create a new one, a new area, relax, where I assign a corresponding symbol, which will be visible in my visualization afterwards. And to this area, I can now assign new functions. So far, relax. Plus, I will have to define which type of function will be needed. In this case, a dimmable light. And also for this function, a corresponding symbol is selected. We have to connect the group addresses. When I know them by heart, I could enter them here, or I can select them from my list. For instance, this one to send, and of course, a feedback address as well in order to get the status of the light. Well, when the Smart Fiso server starts up, you can define an address where he can find the actual value, the actual status of this light. Yeah? In this case, brightness value feedback, meaning that he will do a read at this address in order to obtain the actual status. So once I've configured all my areas and I've filled them with uh, my functions. We can switch over to our visualization with a press at the home button here and taking a look at the result. As you can see, I have already some areas and in those areas I have my lighting circuits which I can control and follow up the statuses. Well, for UA, when I want to integrate UA as function in my project, UA devices are automatically listed in my functions already. I don't have to create them since I have already linked them before. And I just have to assign them to an area, in this case UA. And here we have our different participants. So again, I go back to my visualization 
Juve. Let's activate the camera. And let's start with candle one. I can switch it on. I see the brightness value at 100%. I can dim it down a little bit. And I can adjust the color temperature now, making it warm white or cold white. The smart plug is very easy. Switching on, switching off. And the UA Bloom, of course, also switching on and off. Uh, the corresponding brightness value can be configured and we can choose the corresponding color. In a KNX installation, there are a lot of measured values which are given by the sensors. For instance, every universal KNX push button of Hume gives you the measured temperature of the location where it's installed. But for instance, also an energy sensor or a CO2 uh, uh, sensor or a universal weather station gives us a lot of information. Certainly this device, the weather station, gives you outside temperature, the wind speed, the global radiation, the air pressure, and so on. So all those measured values can now be followed up by the Hume Smart Piso server. This is very useful because then you can follow up if it's right when your wind alarm is activated, for instance, or if you want to increase or reduce this limit value. So it's not only nice to know, but only also in the uh, configuration of the installation, it can be very helpful for both the integrator and the end client to follow up all these measured values. Well, the Smart Visual Server can save up to 100 measured values in a time period of five years. So you can go back in time and evaluate the measured values which are saved. Very useful. And in order to know how this is done, my colleague Christoph will now explain you the needed steps. Hello everyone. One of the new functions in the Smart Viso server is a sharding function. In this tutorial, I want to explain how to create a shard in the Smart Viso server. To use these functions, it's necessary to store the data for each function. We do this in the control panel of the Smart Viso server under areas and functions. We go to the corresponding function that we want to use into a shard, for example, the wind speed, and activating the store data function. This can be done for all functions into the Smart Visual Server. To create a shard, we create a new function with the name Start wind speed, pressing the plus symbol, and we choose for a line chart. Like always, we give this function a corresponding symbol. Under search function, we can find all functions for which we have activated the store data function. We can easily find the desired function by adding a part of the function name. For this tutorial, we use the wind speed and the two wind alarms. We can act maximum five functions per shard. With access label, we can give a label per function shown in the chart. Example, wind speed in meters per second. If we go to the visualization page in the area weather station universal, we see our created chart. In the drop down menu, we see the actual values of the functions that are integrated into the shard. By pressing the maximize button, we can choose for a view of the last week, last month, last year, or even the last five years. 
by scrolling over the chart, we see the actual value for a specific time. The values that are shown are the average values. And the drop menu on the left, we can make functions invisible by pressing the I symbol. For example, the two wind alarms. And now we only see the shard of the wind speed. By pressing the right symbol, we can make the maximum and minimum value for this function visible. A nice feature in the Smart Fiso server is the interface to Sonos Music System. We can, with the Smart Fiso server, first of all control the music system, but we can also pair KNX push buttons via the Smart Fiso server to the music zone. And to give you an impression how this works, I have here the Sonos application. Of course, this is the most convenient way to create your playlists and uh, to select some music, uh, but when we take a look at the visualization Smart Visual Server, once your music zones are connected, which is just one click in the visualization, then you have an overview of the music zones. I can start my music, of course. I can see the actual track. I can control the volume value and I can select playlists as well. So I have selected a playlist now. I can start the music. This is the music zone here. You can control the volume. Select next back. And with push buttons or for instance a rotary sensor, I can also control my music zone. Play, volume, or select my tracks. see how fast it reacts so when you take a look at the Sonos app and I scroll up and down my playlist with KNX push buttons then it reacts uh, directly so it's really good I can this way integrate my music installation into central functions into scenes or individual control with push buttons rotary sensors or directly with our convenient visualization when you have completed your project and all the areas and functions are created, you can finalize your project with user management. We have an administrator that can do all the modifications including the creation of new functions or removing them. Then we have the configurator that can create actions, time functions and do some small modifications. And then we have the users and with users you can make a difference between for instance the parents and the children in a project and you can define which areas will be visible for which user. Also when you use smart controls in your project you can make a difference between smart controls this way where a smart control will only visualize areas which are useful for the area where it's installed. Well we've come to the end of this small presentation for the Smart Visual Server and I hope that you have learned some of the functions and applications I really hope it was interesting. Certainly take a look at our website where we have a dedicated page for the Smart Fiso server where you can find some useful and extra information as well. Or you can participate at one of the webinars for the Smart Fiso server and certainly take a look at the other subjects for which uh, webinars will be organized as well. I hope to see you once at a fair for instance or a product presentation and I wish you all the best. Thank you for your interest and your time.